Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And we're very, we're very, very, very excited. So Deacon, game. Deacon Christopher has talked about some of the trash talk that happens in bet- between the two teams. Yeah. Have you witnessed any of that? I, I have, I have not. Um, I probably, <laughs> I no, I haven't, I haven't experienced any of that. Um, Deacon Christopher knows all the priests that are like on the team because he's played in the games, uh-huh. all, like all the games they've had, I think, since it started. Um, but I just, I just can say that I'm looking very much forward to the game. I think, based on what I've, I've heard, Father Chad is. The, will be a point guard for them and oh. he'll be guarding me and I'll be guarding him. According to your scouts, right? <laughs> according to our, according to the sources we have, the little birds we have, I guess, walk, watching the practices. I'm just kidding. We don't have that. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to be playing against Father Chad. So I'm, I'm uh, very much looking forward to that. How tall are you? Six, one and three quarters, roughly. Okay. Yeah. And what's your size compared to the other guys on the team? Who, who do we have on the starting five? For the seminary? Yes. So... It's me and then Arturo Escobedo, and he's from Brownsville. Okay. He's, a, he's shorter, um, but he's, he's like our two, two guard. Okay. Then Deacon Christopher plays like a three or a four. Okay. And then Luke Prohoda is like six, seven or six, oh, wow. eight. He's really tall and he's a great player. He's great. So he's your center. He's our center and he can, he's got great fundamentals down low on the block. So he's, he's, he's great. Um, who else? I'm trying to think of the other one. Who are you worried about on the priest team? Probably Father David Michael. I think he, I'm pretty sure he's pretty good. Um, Father Houston, perhaps. Father, yes. And Father Wasn't Houston. he the MVP? Yeah, he was MVP. Apparently, he, a couple go, years ago. he can do some damage down low. So hopefully, I'm hoping. Oh, and we have, I'm trying to think. Raymond Snodgrass also plays. I don't know if he starts, but he's another big man and he's a big dude. He's just tall. Oh, so you can have a Twin Towers type thing going on. We could. And so I think that might be able to handle Houston because I know Houston scored a lot and he's, he can be a serious. He's just, I heard he's just super strong. So uh-huh. He can move people around. But I think if we have Raymond in there and Luke, it could be, it could, you know, handle that situation. We'll see. We'll see what happens. And I think there's a buildup to this one because of the fact that last year they didn't have a game, right? Yeah. So there's a lot of anticipation. Yeah. Maybe some, some guys who played a couple of years ago wanting to, you know, up their performance or make up for a bad performance or I, something like that? I think so. I think because I, I went to that last game uh-huh. and that was a blast. I mean, that game, that was before I entered, right? That was before I entered seminary. Uh-huh. I don't think I even was discerning at that point. Well, maybe I was. No, I was. But yeah, I remember being there and it was just such like an energy charged like environment. Yes. Um, and it was a close game but from what I remember for the most part. And, and at least the ending was very close, but the, I think the seminarians pulled away. So I'm sure the priests are, you know, biting at the chance to, to come back and, and beat us, but I'm pretty confident that that's not going to happen. So, Especially since there's been some lineup changes as well, because, you know, in a couple of years, some of those players, they move teams. Deacon Christopher. Leaves. Yes. So that's going to hurt. Yeah. Him leaving is going to hurt. Um, and, and Luke will leave. He's a T3, so he'll become a deacon this year. He'll be gone after next year. So... Yeah, there's going to be some changes, but see, hopefully, you know, maybe some of the new guys coming in. And then compared to last time too, right? What, what Father Houston, was he a seminarian in the uh, yes. couple of years yeah, ago? So exactly when right. he was MVP, so... When he was MVP, he was, yeah, he was, yes, he was a seminarian, so... Yeah, yeah. so a, a very interesting dynamic, what's going to happen. Yeah, but I'm, we're, <laughs> but we're excited. Oh, I can we're imagine, because really it's just the buildup of two years of trash talk and two years of anticipation. Yes. And I know, you know, when... Deacon Christopher was on the team, he, uh, on the show. He was talking about the teams and the trash talk and, you know, yeah. wanting I'm to pretty get back sure, to... I'm pretty sure, yeah, he, he, Deacon Christopher likes to talk, so I'm pretty sure he, <laughs> he was been talking to uh, what, Father Preston. Um, and, yes. And those guys, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's been, there's been some banter for sure. For oh, sure. boy. Yeah. Oh, boy. So now that um, we're looking forward to that, do you have any predictions? Do you want to? Do you want to give a guarantee to you know how how basketball players say that? I guarantee we're gonna I'm, win. No. I'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna be LeBron when he went to Miami, <laughs> calling how many championships he's gonna win. No, I I don't want to guarantee anything because anything can uh-huh. happen in a game. Anything can happen. Um, but I'm confident that we'll get the W. I'm confident. Oh, I'm not going to guarantee. I cannot guarantee because anything can happen. Okay. Um, they could have, you know, a couple guys just go off. Who knows? Uh huh. Um, Father Houston might drop 40 on us down low. I don't know. Who knows what's going to happen? But I, I'm confident because we've been playing. We've been playing well. We were very tired at Josephine at the end of the tournament, but those first three games, we played well. We played good defense. So I'm, I'm confident that we'll, 
we'll get the win. Do you guys have more time to gel as a team as compared to them? See, that's, that's yeah, I, you know, I was going to try to gloss over that and maybe not talk about that advantage <laughs> we have. No, I'm kidding. No, yeah, we, I mean, we practice once a week. And I think the priest schedules are so busy that they practice like very spare. They don't have a lot of time at all to practice, together at least. I'm sure they maybe practice on their own, but there's no substitute for playing, playing and building that chemistry together uh-huh. than, than the time you have to do so. Um, so, and we have that every week <laughs> and we played multiple oh, games. Yes. So, so, you know, that, that's a, that's definitely an advantage that I can't just pass over. Yeah. So if they do beat you, I'm sure you're going to hear a lot about it. Oh yeah. The- <laughs> oh yeah. Every time I see Father David Michael, I'll probably hear about it. Um, cause he was, he, he was my spiritual director before, right before I entered seminary. Okay. So I got to know him pretty well and he's a great guy and he's, he was very, super helpful in my discernment and everything. But every time I've seen him since then, the game has come up. Really, um, and he's a really humble guy. So he's like, "Yeah, we're just, it's not looking good for us." But I, I know he's going to bring everything he's got. So, oh, do you think he's probably just trying to psych you out? Yeah, he's just yeah. pretending that. Oh, yeah, we're not going to do well. He's you don't head, have to bring your A game. No, no, he's playing head games for sure. Yeah, he's trying to get under <laughs> under our skin and stuff. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But I'm if we lose him, Father Chad, uh-huh. they will not ever let it go. 